Hello dear students, welcome to learning chemistry is easy and fun. The topic that we are taking up today is the half reaction method or the ion equation method to balance redox reactions in a basic medium. We have already dealt with balancing in an acidic medium. We are now moving on to balancing ionic equations in a basic medium. The equation is listed for you. CrOH whole twice plus IO3 negative gives you I negative plus CrO4 2 negative. The difference between these equations and a molecular equation is that you have to be careful about the charges as well. The sum of the charges on the reactant side should be equal to the sum of charges on the product side because we know that mass can neither be created nor destroyed. In order to balance these equations, we will follow steps. It is better that you list these steps in your notebook and follow them one by one and I am very confident that you will not face any problem in this particular topic. In order to do that, you will need a pen and paper. Do you have it handy? Do you have it ready? Perfect. So we are ready for the lesson. Step 1. Write the oxidation numbers of the elements in the equation. Right? So you can write the oxidation numbers on top. What you will do is you will calculate the oxidation numbers. Pause the video. Write the oxidation numbers on top. Don't forget to follow the rules that we have already discussed uh, in the video on oxidation numbers. So chromium here, go ahead, write it, pause and then restart the video so that you feel more confident when dealing or when you are uh, going on to step 2. If you are not sure about this, then you will be struggling in the further steps as well. Because iodide, so x minus 6 equals minus 1. So that is how we get. So x is iodine. We do know the oxidation state. Plus, there are 3 oxygen atoms. Minus 2 is the oxidation state. The overall charge of this ion is minus 1. So we have x equals to 5. Right? This is how we calculate the oxidation state or the oxidation number. I negative means its oxidation state is minus 1. For CrO4, 2 negative. Chromium is in the oxidation state of plus 6. Of course, our oxygen is minus 2 again. Right? Now that we have got the oxidation states in place, let us now go on to the next step. Split it into half. That's the method. That's the name of the method. We divide the equation, the full equation, into two halves. The oxidation half and the reduction half. Oxidation half means oxidation number is increasing. Reduction half means that the oxidation number is reducing or decreasing. Right? So if you notice, chromium is changing from plus 3 to plus 6. My oxidation half is CrOH whole thrice, giving me CrO4 to negative, right? Now why am I leaving some space on the left hand side is because I want to ensure that there is ample space in order to introduce or add the reactant and the product on each side. So I've got the oxidation half. Let me now first balance the oxidation half. In order to balance, if you remember, we've already given you this chart, right? Wherein, you've got the steps listed. Immediate recall. Step 1, write the ionic equation. Step 2, oxidation states on top. Step 3, split. Oxidation half, reduction half. Balance each of the equations. What is the order of balancing? We balance first the elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. Go on to next is oxygen. How do we balance oxygen? By adding that many number of water molecules on the side which is short of oxygen atoms. 
don't worry about the hydrogen i know we are introducing extra hydrogen but we will take care of it in the next step so the next step is to balance hydrogen we have already dealt with balancing hydrogen in an acidic medium how do we balance hydrogen in a basic medium basic medium means we've got oh negative right so in order to add oh negative now we know that oh negative cannot exist independently it is existing as water h o h so what do we do is we will add water on the side which is short of hydrogen add an equal number of hydroxyl on the opposite side so as to nullify the oh that we have added on one side because i want only this but this is a package deal h in this case will be accompanied by oh so what do i do is in order to cancel out the oh if i am adding water h2o on the left hand side in order to balance hydrogen i will add an equal number of hydroxyl on the opposite side right equal number next step would be to add electrons in order to equalize the charges on both sides fifth equalize electrons in each half because now what we are going to do in that step is to equalize the electrons in the oxidation and the reduction half of the reaction and how do you get the full equation half plus half gives me full right and then we will have the final equation ready for us so let's go on if you want you can note down these points and uh, stick it near your study area once you revise it just before the exams you don't need to revise the full topic as such and it will be done or taken care of within 5 minutes you'll be much more confident believe me if you just have the steps in place so let us go on and follow these steps in order to balance the equation that we have at hand so step 1 uh, sorry now in balancing we have to first balance other elements so other than oxygen and hydrogen we only have chromium over here right so we are going to balance chromium one atom of chromium one atom of chromium do we need to balance it no no need right go on to the next after e comes o oxygen i need to balance oxygen how many oxygen on the left hand side 3 how many oxygen on the right hand side 4 so the reactant side is short of one oxygen atom so i will simply add one water molecule here right next step h e o h hydrogen please don't forget that this is a reaction which is taking place in basic medium this is where the balancing is different for acidic and basic medium this is only point where it is different if it was acidic medium we would have simply added h positive but since this is basic medium what do we do water and hydroxyl so let us see 3 hydrogen plus 2 hydrogen gives me 5 hydrogen on the product side there is no hydrogen so five water molecules and five hydroxyl ions right it takes care because in effect we've only added hydrogen ions correct next step is to balance the charge if you notice no charge on croh holds right there's no charge on water they are neutral you see hydroxyl this is minus 5 go to the right hand side this is minus 2 so this is minus 5 minus 2 i want to make minus 2 into minus 5 by adding electrons now how will addition increase in the uh, sorry cause an increase in the negative charge addition should decrease right no but what we have over here is electrons electrons are negatively charged so in effect what i am doing is 3 times of minus 1 gives me minus 3 
and I have the charge as minus 5. Right? Let's see if it is balanced. Chromium, 3, 4, 5, 5 and 5, 10. 5 times 2 is 10. Oxygen, 3, 4, 4 plus 5 is 9. Oxygen, 5 plus 4 is 9. And so are the charges. Right? So we are in place with the first half of the equation. That is the oxidation half. Now let's move on to the reduction half. Reduction means the oxidation number will reduce. So I O3 negative is giving me I negative. Again, follow the rule E O H. So balance elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. The only element that we have here is I 1 1. Balanced. I don't need to do anything. Oxygen. 3 oxygen. There's no oxygen. So what do we do? Correct. 3 water. Next. Hydrogen. Again, don't forget. It's basic media. Let's see. 3 times 2 is 6. But there is no hydrogen over here. So we will add 6 water. Add 6 hydroxyl to equalize the hydroxyl ions, right? So 6 water and an equal number of hydroxyl ions on the right hand side. The last thing that we are left with is the charge, that is by addition of electrons. Minus 1. Minus 1, minus 6, minus 7, right? So minus 1 has to become minus 7. So how many electrons do you think we need here? Correct. We will need 6 electrons because putting 6 electrons means minus 6 again. That's a charge. Electron is negatively charged. So let's see are we going on the right track because sometimes you know we can get a little confused with too many equations, too many charges. So let's check it. I, 1, oxygen, 6 plus 3, 9, and 6 plus 3, 9, hydrogen, 6 times 2 is 12, hydrogen, 6 plus 6 makes it 12, right? So we are, looks like on the right track. Next rule, what do we do? Oxidation means there is loss of electrons taking place. Reduction means there is gain of electrons taking place. But for the reaction to be complete, the number of electrons lost should be equal to the number of electrons gained. Correct? Oxidation, it is losing 3 electrons. Reduction, it is gaining 6 electrons. So that means I need 3 more electrons. How do we convert 3 to 6? Yes, we can only multiply over here. I cannot add three electrons over here because if I add, then the entire equation will be, again become unbalanced in terms of charges. So if I multiply with some number, I'll have to multiply the whole equation. So what's the number with which I multiply three in order to get six? Correct. So we multiply it by two. Right? Okay. So we have the electrons cancelled out over here. Now those who are fast at it, you can just nullify and cancel whatever can be. I shall go step by step in order to take care of my students who are not very confident about the steps. So I am going to do take baby steps over here. So 2 CrOH holds rise plus See, I'm going to multiply each one of this by 2. 2 water plus 5 times 2 is 10 hydroxyl. Again, reactant half. I have IO3 negative. Or let me do one thing. Let me put it below this so it's easier. IO3 negative. This is part of the reactant only. Plus 6 H2O. Right? And what do we have on the product side? 
Let's write it down. CRO4, 2 negative. Yes, correct. It has to be multiplied by 2. I'm so glad that you are paying attention. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus we have I negative plus 3 water and plus 6 hydroxyl ions. Now, take away whatever you can. I have 13 water over here and I have 6 plus 2, 8 water over here. So 8 and 13. I'm left with 5 water on the right hand side, on the product side. 6 hydroxyl here and 10 hydroxyl here. So leaves me with 4 hydroxyl ions. Right? So are we left with anything that we can cancel out? No. So what do we have the final balancing as? Can you tell me the final balancing? 2 CROH whole thrice plus IO3 negative plus 4 OH negative gives us 2 CRO4 2 negative. Yes, we've taken care of the water plus I negative and 5 water molecules. Right? Now what you do over here is see, have we balanced the equation correctly or not? Just check yourself. Pause the video. Check have we gone on the right track or not. I'll be thankful if you can do that for me. How do we check? 2 chromium, 2 chromium. Uh, oxid iodine, 1 iodine, 1. Oxygen, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 3, 9, 9 plus 4, 13. Oxygen, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13. Hydrogen, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. Hydrogen, 5 times 2 is 10, right? What about the charges? Minus 4, minus 1 gives me minus 5. Minus 1, 2 times 2 is minus 4. So I have minus 5 here as well. So we have the final balanced equation in place. And I'm so glad that you have understood this. Now, please don't feel lazy or don't switch on to, don't jump on to another video. Please, now, take time out. Practice five equations of balancing redox reactions in basic medium. Only five. I'm not asking you for more. Just five. And let me know in your comments if you've been able to relate to the video and if you've been able to understand. Happy studying to all of you.